This is just a little video tutorial for uh, Locust Maps and how to use it along with the Fisheye GPS winch camera and standalone GPS unit. You will need an Android device and you will need to visit the Google Play Store and download Locust Map. Now there is a free version and there is a version that is £8.99 uh, which doesn't have adverts and is the version that I'm using uh, on this video. Uh, turn your um, fisheye devices on, that's uh, your GPS unit, your GPS winch, uh, your bait boat and your bait boat handset. Then go into your Bluetooth settings on your Android device and search for Bluetooth devices. Now fisheye should appear and when you press on fisheye it will ask you for a password. Uh, the password is one, two, three, four, and then press OK, and that should pair your device with your Android phone or tablet. Um, you only need to enter it once. So once we're connected uh, via Bluetooth to the GPS device, open Locust Map. and you'll see that you have a map image and a little red crosshair. Now at the top right of the screen you'll see there's like a, a little satellite dish. If you press on the satellite dish um, it takes you through to the satellite view and this tells you what satellites are in view at the moment. I haven't got any in view, uh, so I'm going to double check that I'm actually receiving data from the uh, Fisheye GPS device. So if you'd like to follow me on the screen, I'll go as slow as possible. There's three dots in the top right corner. If you just tap on those top three dots, it'll open up this menu and then click on settings, then click on GPS and sensor. and scroll down to Bluetooth GPS and click on that. Now you need to make sure that on your phone or tablet you've got get to location from external GPS ticked so you should have a blue tick in this box here and you need to make sure that the sensor is turned on and that you're receiving data from the fisheye GPS unit. So if you click back and back again you can see that I'm fully connected now to the uh, fisheye unit and I'm receiving 28 satellites in view and I'm connected to 23, 24. Um, this figure will move up and down and the accuracy is one meter. So if I come back up to the top and click on the three dots again and go to settings GPS and sensors and then scroll down and you can see there's 3D sky plot mode and I've got that enabled and that's what's showing me the satellite so if I disenable that and go back you see I've probably got on screen what you're seeing now to get that screen on that I had on click the three dots go to settings go to GPS and sensors and then scroll down to 3d sky plot mode and come back out of that and you can see you've got the 3d sky plot mode on now um, the American flags are the American GPS you've got the Russian flags uh, there which are the Russian GPS and you've got the uh, Galileo satellites which are the best in terms of accuracy um, which are blue with the European logo symbol in the middle of them so my GPS devices will receive Galileo guaranteed right, so I'm connected to 28 satellites 20 satellites out of 28 now um, and the accuracy is one meter so if we click back with the top left arrow to take us back to the map view and now we've got a blue circle with a blue dot in the middle of it 
and that is the location of your boat or the fisheye GPS unit. Um, saving a waypoint, I'm going to use this car in this garden for example. Um, you need to hold down on the screen and a little box will pop up and there is a little side tab on the right hand side that you press and you get another box that comes up um, there. So if you click on details it gives you this information here and in this screen here down at the bottom right corner there is a little upwards arrow I'm just going to press that now and you can see you've got copy to and export if you press export um, you can now give this location a name so I'm just going to call it uh, something like fish fish eye uh, rod one for example and then click export and then click close for that and it'll say process successful uh, come back out of here top right and use the arrow to come back out uh, sorry top left and if you press anywhere on the screen that box will disappear now so what you want to know is how to get that recorded or saved location back onto the screen so you can navigate to that so at the top of the screen you've got the green satellite dish if you hold your finger on the satellite dish for more than two seconds you'll get another um, menu pop up so you've got turn off information and modify panel now if you click on modify panel we're now able to sort of add sort of some quick uh, reference buttons to um, Locus Maps. So using the plus button down in the bottom right corner, if you click on the plus button and then add function to panel, which is the top option, and click on that, and it brings you up all these little functions that we can add for sort of like quick reference um, laid over the top of the map. So what I'm going to add is import which is just there. Now you can see the import will be displayed on the right panel underneath the top panel. So for now we're just going to set it at that. Now close that down. Now you can see underneath the satellite in the top right corner I've got like a box with an arrow pointing into it. So hopefully you have as well. If you click on the arrow with the box pointing into it um, you need to, this is where all the uh, locations will have been stored so if you can't find it you just need to follow this like SD card locus and then export and everything will be in there so that same um, location I just saved there 1st of March 2019 roughly about seven minutes past seven if I click on that and click import you can see now that we're back on the maps and um, we've got this little box with a magnifying glass in it and um, so that's how you save and retrieve your uh, GPS locations now if you click on the box and um, we can still open up all these little details about it but if you put if you turn um, guide on you can see we've got a nice line showing in distance in meters how many how far it is to that location so when you're driving your boat out you'll be able to see your boat going across the screen this this blue circle will turn to an arrow and you'll be able to follow that line straight across and it will tell you when you know you've arrived at that location uh, to turn guide off you just hold down on the box click on the arrow at the side and uh, click guide off oh, sorry <laughs> I've just guided myself to another location but you get the general gist of things um, other things you can do is top left corner there's three little lines if you click on that you can uh, go to more functions and if you scroll down you can um, put map overlays on um, let's try one of those um, maybe not a map overlay, where is it, more functions, tools, um, it is 
Let's have a look, see if it's yeah, that's any good. No, not that one. More functions. Dashboard, I think that's what it was. Let's click on elegant blue. Um yeah, you get you get more sort of like information on the screen, you know, distance to target, speed, meters, all that sort of stuff. So that's basically how you use Locus Maps and along with the uh, fisheye GPS unit and um, any questions feel free to message me.